y'all and welcome back to the channel Dap Universal on Dap. So, welcome back to the channel. I just said that, but this is going to be a quick reading on who is um, in love with you, who has feelings for you, who wants to date you. And uh, my intentions with this was probably someone that hasn't quite come forward yet or somebody who um, doesn't make their feelings quite known, but you pick up the vibes. Um, that kind of situation also can just be a confirmation from somebody that you already know uh, wants to date you. But if I describe that person to you, then take that as a, a, a huge sign that, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was on the money. You're right. <laughs> this person actually does want to date you. So um, you're going to be picking between actually four piles today. I got four piles for you. I'm um, going to be looking at uh, cards from the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck to choose from. So you can choose between pile number one, the hawk, pile number two, the frog, pile number three, wait, where's pile number three? Oh, I'm sorry, the cheetah, the cheetah, or pile number four, the hyena. Choose with your third eye. Um, I know you see the pictures there, you know what these animals are, but choose with your third eye. Again, that's pile number one, the hawk. Pile number two, the frog. Pile number three, the cheetah. And pile number four, the hyena. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Um, check the timestamps below. And of course, if uh, the reading resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. Sound off. Let me know how it resonated. And um, yeah, I'll see you at your reading. Bye. What up, pal number one? If you chose the hawk, welcome to your reading. So um, we're just gonna be looking into the personality type of the person who uh, really wants to date you. They, they dig you, they like you. But um, the the type of energy I was kind of like um, focusing on, I mean, I mean, take what, how it resonates, but people who may not make themselves known, maybe a secret admirer, maybe someone who is not as secure with themselves in, um, in, in knowing how to pursue you or something like that. This isn't gonna be somebody that you're already dating. I mean, I guess it could if you just just fumbling around watching it, but like um, the intention is set for somebody that you are not dating, somebody that maybe you have a inkling that they may like you or whatever, but we're gonna get down in, in, in dirty with exactly um, why they like you and who this person is, okay? So let's start off with this um, Oracle card from the Kim Kranz's Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. Um, it's the Hawk. So off the bat, I get vibes of uh, air sign, air energy. So it's like Aquarius, Gemini, um, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but don't have to be. This is somebody who is very much in their head. But um, let's, let's see what she says about the hawk. She said, the hawk is watchful, all-seeing, messenger of divinity. So the sharp eyes of the hawk watch our every move. This keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture. When this card appears, fate has its eye on you. And the winds are shifting, and it's said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly, though it may seem small or insignificant. It will eventually redirect your course. When in balance, the hawk sees clearly, it is intuitive. When out of balance, it sees too much and is suspicious. To bring it back into balance, perspective shifts. So off the bat, I'm getting the vibes that y'all have, y'all are coming into each other's lives, um, maybe on a soul contract. Maybe this is a, a very much a, a soul mated connection. Um, and if anything, if it's not meant to last forever, if it's not meant to um, even be something that you look back on as uh, as profound. Uh, they do actually shift you into um, another version of yourself or you may shift them into another version of, the, of themselves. Like It's almost like saying if you did not cross paths, y'all didn't have this, um, this connection, then you wouldn't ascend. Or you, you, it's like this is your opportunity to kind of um, find your higher self as well, even if it's not meant to be forever. That's for some people. Um, I'm also getting... This person can be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus.
and it says in the third house which is Gemini's house about how they communicate so if anything this person may be very intuitive like when y'all speak or when they do come around it's like you've always found them watching you for one it's like it's like this energy of like you know you 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 turn your head and they kind of look in so you just kind of turn back and then some minutes go by you turn your head again and they you, they they looking at you still and but they was looking at you before you was even looking at them and it's like that weird like are you staring at me motherfucker like what are you doing like <laughs> Like, why are you always staring at me? It's like, and, and for some of y'all, it doesn't bother you. They're not creepy with it, but it does make you wonder, like, why does this person keep staring at me? And some of y'all kind of want to avoid them, I feel like. It's like, not even because, like, you don't like them or something like that. It's more like the the intense vibes that you pick up um, from them just kind of makes you a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. But, and that's just because it hasn't been acknowledged. So it's not it's like you never bring it up and they never bring it up it's like okay i see you staring at me all day but like you're not you know saying anything or i see um that you watch my stories all the time it's like they you they very much make the presence known in a sense of like they're always kind of watching and if you don't know that they do watch your um your uh, social media some of y'all work together for like i am hearing that some of y'all work together all right so i want to look at Ooh, the personality type of this person. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles wants to come out. So yeah, work together. I'm going to look at the personality type of your person. Other than intuitive. Um, any more? The Knight of Swords in Reverse. Gemini vibes heavy. They may really be Geminis. But they're also the type of person that um, they may uh, be very blunt in their speak not rude but just kind of blunt um when you first met them they may have come off as rude to you you may actually still kind of think they're a little bit like tactless but i do feel like they um they 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 have a way with words and if by now you should probably know who i'm talking about but this person is also very defensive about their intelligence something about how they don't like being called dumb they, they hate being wrong it bothers them um, more than the average person. Now I see King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, which is Aquarius. So Aquarius, Gemini vibes heavy. You may be an Aquarius or Gemini, um, but either way, this person is a very mental um, person and actually really good at, uh, at, at at using their noggin. You you probably find them to be very smart. But um, let's look at the truth. All right, so what's their intentions? Woo. Why do they want to do? Okay, so I see the Hierophant in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. So two fives. They want to change. Okay, so y'all may be actually really spiritual. I don't find the person that you are um, asking about or, or the person who is uh, admiring you to be um, very deep in their spirituality, but they are very spiritual. I think maybe for some of y'all, y'all are meant to kind of like open this person up to a spiritual awakening. Or open their eyes to um, what they've been looking for. Answer some questions that they've been asking about. Even if you don't find yourself to be like a, a, a guru or like an expert in anything, you know more than they do probably. And you are meant to shed some light on certain things for them to get them, them wheels turning, you know? But with the Hierophant in reverse and the Five of Pentacles, I feel like this person feels kind of lost in what they believe in or lost in what, what, what makes them feel connected to a higher power. Also, they may have grown up in a house that was very religious or they may even be opposite spectrum of that I'm hearing, um, atheist, but now turn agnostic. They, but they know there's something out there, but they just don't know what. I feel like maybe what triggered them is being on hard times. And this doesn't have to be financially. It can be just feeling like there's a lack. Some of them may be hard time financially. Others feeling like there is a lack and they, they may have lots of money, but it, it, it's something missing in their life. And so when they meet you, they feel like um, you have the answers or you just, there's just something about you. There's a spark to you and they feel like they're just drawn to you. And I think the energy is because maybe it's to um, open their eyes to certain things. And if this is, and if this isn't quite resonating, just flip that energy. It could be them who are um, more attuned and you are asking questions. You're trying to figure it out. It, energy is fluid. Um, just kind of take it how it resonates and flip, flip, flip where you need to flip. But, um, okay. How do they feel about, pile number one, how do they feel about you from their perspective? The Ace of Wands, intimidated. They feel like there's something about your energy that's very intimidating to them. 
Um, and there's someone who's really mental. They just they just see a fire in you. You may be a fire sign or have a fire ascendant, fire moon, but they feel very much um, intimidated. Uh, and they not cups. They and they wish for you. They they wish they had the, the, your spark. They wish they had certain elements of your personality integrated into their own. That's like they really kind of look up to you in a sense. Doesn't matter if you're older or younger. They look up to you. Why do they think they want to date pal number one? Why do they think they want to date pal number one? Woo! The chariot. They think that you are somebody going places, um, somebody meant to do some stuff. And they also feel like you are going to awaken something in them. They already feel something bubbling up inside of them that they've never really quite felt before and they like it. Even if y'all haven't had that many deep conversations, maybe you have, but this person is very much into you. In the third house, I do feel like y'all just have, y'all aren't even maybe friends really. I feel like this is very much acquaintance kind of energy. Someone just kind of peeping. Um, you, I don't get that y'all quite know each other or know each other well. I'm getting like short conversations um, maybe like a, a sibling's friend, like a brother's friend, their sister's friend or something like that, a friend of a friend, that kind of thing. Someone you've known, like say you maybe went to school with or something like that, it's that kind of vibe. But um, yeah. Also friend of a mother's, mother's friend, I don't know, some family member's friend. I'm getting something about a feminine, like connected to somebody um, feminine in your family that you know. But that's for some of y'all. But I feel like their intentions are good and if you know who this person is, Maybe um, help them break the ice by asking them some questions or like picking their brain about something because I feel like this person is rather uh, introverted. But um, yeah, I want to pull you some um, moon cards if I can find them. Where are they at? Oh, here they are. This is just for some advice on maybe um, what the energy could be like with this person. What to expect, how to deal with it. I don't know. I'm just going to pull some cards, okay? So, any further advice for pile number one? Any further advice for pile number one? What do they know about this person that wants to date them? Okay. Full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Again, I feel like maybe I'll work with this person. New moon in Taurus. Trust that all, I'm sorry, new moon in Virgo. Trust that all will be well. Last but not least, last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love. All right, so boom, that's what I got for you, pile number one. So sound off in the comments. Let me know if you know this person, if this resonates. Um, let me know if you, there's a certain pick a card reading that you want me to kind of explore. I am taking requests. Um, I love doing that. Um, but yeah, just let me know. But until next time, guys, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings and I'll be you. Bye. What up, pile number two? If you chose the frog, welcome to your reading. So we're going to be looking at the personality type of the person who wants to date you. Um, with the intention of like maybe you don't quite um know this person or know how, quite how they feel but maybe you have your suspicions i don't know just take it how it resonates but put yourself where you need to be um also we'll be looking at maybe why this person has this crush on you or why this person wants to date you as well to give you as much insight as possible but off the bat we're going to be starting off with this uh with this animal spirit totem which is a water totem and it's a frog and frogs i'm not frogs um, water uh, totems like kind of resonate with um, water signs so this person could be um, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces or have it in their chart. Rock, sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus doesn't have to but this is going to be more so on the personality type or maybe how, how you two are affected the most in the connection, maybe an emotional connection, who knows. But um, I'm going to start off by reading you the, the card from the guide book and it says the frog clearing cleansing and healing the frog and the water element are most inseparable the frog spends its first months of life entirely within the, this healing element 
and then emerges to rest on land. But no matter how earthly the frog becomes, it, its need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. Frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished, so it's vital such sensitive creatures practice self-care. This card serves as a reminder that, that water helps us cleanse, forgive, and release. Time to dive in. Frogs aren't meant to carry heavy loads. When in balance, the frog is clear energy and enthusiasm for life. When out of balance, is depleted and running on empty. To bring it back into balance, lakes, rivers, oceans, or a bath. Okay. So off the bat, this is maybe somebody who um, could be an earth sign or a water sign, really. I'm getting Taurus vibes as well because um, he actually did pull Taurus in the um, Astro Tarot. I'm not the Astro Oracle and the sun. This person could be sun in Taurus. It could be uh, relating to things happening right now as the sun is in Taurus. If you're watching this when it's posted, but this is a timeless reading. Um, picking up on, uh, they could be sun, moon, or rising in Taurus. They, they're, they're very much like this type of energy. Um, it may also just be alluding to this person may just have a lot of abundance. Like who they are, how they resonate um, to you may be somebody who has a lot. I just also see that with the frog. Someone who, who maybe is um, seen as materialistic because of the things that they have. Um, they may have a lot of money. They may be very successful. They may be um, an artist of sorts. Successful though. But I am picking up on that something about them um, is still very, very spiritual. But I think most people see them as somebody who maybe just material. They may actually be um, in a field that, that, that makes them feel a little bit like a sellout. I don't know why I'm getting it like that. Like a sellout. They may have um, recently let go of a certain dream to do something more practical and I feel like maybe um, that may be affecting them too and maybe you're somebody who doesn't uh, do that anymore maybe you're somebody who embraces their, their their path and maybe you are on a more creative path and they see you and, and not be jealous of you but just find so much inspiration in you um, that's for somebody but let's go deeper so I want to look at another card just uh, based on the personality of, of uh, pile number two's um, admirer or their person um, something about life path number two comes up. Something about um, maybe born on the 18th. They may be born um, on May 18th if they are uh, Taurus. Is that still Taurus? I don't know. They may also be um, life path number nines, number eights, ones. All right, so more about the personality. I do see the nine of pentacles. Virgo energy comes up. Um, this is somebody who uh, maybe they do have a lot. They have like a, a, a lot of nice things. They are very attractive as well. They, there's an elegance to them, no matter if they're male or female. There's a wisdom to them, um, like a regalness. It doesn't matter if they don't even have a lot of money. They carry themselves like they do. And it's not about like fronting. It's like it's just how they stay. Like they like they're royalty in a past life or something. They may have the sun in their ascendant. Like they may be Leo risings. I'm picking up on. Or you may be Leo rising. Something about something about Le sun in the rising sign kind of um, uh, jumps out at me. I see it's a lot of sun energy. This is a happy-go-lucky person, a very optimistic person, um, somebody who actually uh, receives messages all the time. I do feel like this person is intuitive. They may actually um, be into div divination or something like that. Maybe not as a job, but I feel like they may uh, really, really be into it. All right. So what's the truth about the connection? When it comes down to one. So how do they see this? What, what, why? What's the, what's the truth and in, in, in the reason why they have feelings for you? All right, I'm seeing the Fool in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse. For some of y'all, this person is on the rebound been through a lot, don't know how to get over it, damn near killed them, stabbed in the back, they said, and I see the fool. 
So both they're both in reverse. For some of these people, um, I feel like they're trying to find beauty in the world again, trying to find their place in the sun again, wanting to get put themselves out there and and and, and feel worthy again. So for a lot of y'all, I do think that this person just got out of a relationship. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Or they um, have just gone through something where they feel like they lost something. like Or like they may have shifted um, jobs or something like that with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. They may have... Um, went back to school is another thing maybe 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 you meet this, this, this person in class or something like that or at a class something like that but um how do they feel about pile number two how do they feel about pile number two the ten of pentacles Ooh, the king of cups in reverse okay for some of these people i'm getting a little bit like vibes of obsession with the king of cups in reverse at least a uh, obsession in the sense of like they really feel like we are going to be together damn it we are going you this is in game <clears throat> the king of cups in reverse this could be somebody who it could, it could be a little bit over emotional or a little bit delusional about the situation I'm not saying that they it's someone to worry about but it is very much like they feel very confident and no in 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 these um ideas of y'all being together with the ten of pentacles this could be somebody that um that's been married before this is also somebody who has a lot of money have a nice house they have things they have their shit together um they may have gotten an inheritance i'm hearing as well <clears throat> the queen of swords and they see you as honest they see you as somebody who probably don't give a fuck about how much money they got really to be honest with you don't care it don't matter I, i'm just not that into it and that's and they also see you as someone who's smart and beautiful the libra card come out you may be a libra they could be a libra but it's like saying um they find you to be um they, 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 they're attracted to your mind. They're attracted to how you present yourself as well, also like a queen. So something about both of y'all's energy, um, the way you hold yourself is with almost like um, like royalty. Both of you do that. It makes sense. A king would want a queen, or, or if this is a female, like a queen would want a king. Like, this, this makes sense. I can put that together. Um, okay, so how about... How do they think about pile number two? How do you think about you? Strength in reverse. What's the perception? Pile number two. If you know this person, maybe your friends or something like that, maybe there's some kind of how do you, a trauma bond? I don't want to call it that, but like it feels like a situation where um, you may be going through similar circumstances, hard circumstances, and that's what kind of brings you together. It doesn't have to be financially, it doesn't have to be, it could be just um, in a bad state of mind. Something about both of y'all going through um, a dark night of soul or even a, um, a spiritual awakening, facing your demons so you can get back into the sun, right? Also getting something about one of y'all, they, they may help you with housing or something like that or offer you housing. If you're, if you're looking for housing or a place to stay or something like that, I don't know. But um, just take what resonates, but I'm gonna pull some Moonology cards to kind of give us another, some more ideas of what we need to kind of see about the connection. All right, so you pulled new moon, a new start is coming. New moon in Scorpio, go deeper and deeper and deeper. And last but not least, last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. Take it how it resonates. Let me know how it resonates in the comments below. If you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. And um, remember, guys, and until next time, if you got spirit. What? Spirit got you. Blessings and out we do. Bye for now. Pile number three, if you chose the cheetah, welcome to your re. Um, we're going to be talking about um, who wants to date you and why. Who is this person? Um, we're going to be looking at the personality of this person, how you may know them, why they um, think they want to date you, what makes them attractive to you. So first we'll be dealing with um, this uh, oracle card here from the uh, animal spirit um, oracle deck. And they pull the cheetah. 
And so cheetahs are fire totems. So this person could be um, a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, sun, moon, or rising. Doesn't matter, doesn't have to be, but they give me the energy of a go-getter, someone with a lot of fire energy within them, right? So um, also we're gonna be uh, reading the uh, definition from the guidebook just to kind of uh, gauge what this energy is like with this person. So that way you can kind of figure out who this person is. But it says, um, the cheetah, solar force, action, achievement, masculine energy. The cheetah is the epitome of solar forces at work. The sun doesn't shine onto the cheetah. It shines from inside this great creature and expands outward to brighten the universe. The energy within a cheetah personality is palpable. Eh. Pal palpable? Eh. Is palpable to others. And they naturally attract an audience to bear witness to their remarkable achievements. Purpose and passion are the best fuel for a cheetah's forward momentum. So if you're lacking in these areas, reconnect to why before you before start running. Okay, blah, blah, blah. if you if you're lacking in these areas, reconnect to the why before you start running. When in balance, the cheetah achieves anything. Boundless energy. When out of balance, it's impatient and competitive. To bring it back into balance, reconnect to a purpose. Purpose. All right, so this person shines the light out. Um, also, if you're drawing the pal number two, go back and watch that. Go ahead and back it up. Um, also hearing that, that may be your reading as well. Maybe two people who were into you. I'm into you. I should be over all the butterflies. I'm into you. They may like Paramore. <laughs> And baby, not a worse night. I'm meant to you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's they're in a paramour. They may be um, a really upbeat type of person. I get like they love. I don't know. It's like there's something just very uplifting about their energy. They may be dancers. Um, they may really be in the spotlight. Um, these people and how they want to be seen is is what they do. Like like whatever their job is, whatever they connect to as um, what they do um, in the world is how they feel they want to be seen by everybody, whether they dating you, whether they, whether, no matter who you are, they want to be seen as, as that person. Um, that's, that's who they are. I say that because they have the ascendant and midheaven comes up as uh, their astrology cards. So ascendant is kind of like what you came down in this incarnation to kind of do, right? Um, how, you, how you see the world, how the world sees you, your rising sign basically. And midheaven is the highest point in your chart where it's like it's, it's like almost unattainable in this lifetime. It's like what you see yourself to be the greatest professionally or um, or how you want others to to um, to perceive you at your highest level. So this person is very much striving to do that. They, they may have actually hit that that motherfucker right there. They may I'm getting some out. They may be life path number eight or life, or life path number nines or ones. They may also be um, any fire sign. But I'm also picking up heavy fire sign in the, in the ascendant, like um, uh, Aries, I'm ascendant, Libra, I'm sorry, <laughs> Libra, Aries, uh, Leo, or Sagittarius rising, heavy on the Leo. But um, yeah, let's get more information as to who this person may be, why they think they like you. All right, more about the personality. Who is this person? Who's this person that likes polymer three? The five of cups in reverse comes out with the five of pentacles. Wow. They may really be like five number fives or tens. This person may have all the energy in the world, but maybe they, I feel like they work a lot. I feel like this is a person who um, they may actually give advice. I'm getting. Okay, they may actually be like spiritual workers. They could be tarot readers. They could be counselors. They could be anybody that, um, for some, I get that they went to rehab. They try to make me go to rehab. I say no, no, no. Yes, I've been black, but when I come back, you know, no, no. Why? Okay, this person's really into music. I don't normally just do this. <laughs> Bust out the song a lot in my readings. So I'm getting that this person really is uh, they heal through music. They may be very clear audience or something like that. They may actually sing or something. Um, but I do hear that they 
they do something that uplifts people. They feel like it's their soul's work. Um, and it helped them get out of a bad place. That's what they may be healers, like tarot readers or something like that. Um, yeah, that's cool. But they like you. <laughs> They're into you. All right, so what's the truth about why they feel like they like you? They want to date you. What's the, what's the truth and how they see you? Ooh, the Page of Swords in reverse. Clarify about what the Page of Cups. All right, so this person may just know you on the internet. They may just be like a fan or something like that. Maybe it's someone you just you just know on the internet. Um, I'm getting like maybe you haven't really met this person in, in real life or something like that. Um, also, I'm getting that this person stalks the shit out of your page. They're always on that motherfucker. They always like, try to figure out more about you. They just want to know you. Um, with the Page of Cups, I feel like um, they either they're younger than you or they may be a little younger. Or they just like look younger than they really are or something like that. They may really look younger. Um, but they, they, they uh, definitely do um, find you to be... Okay, you may also be creative. They, 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 I think this person is creative, but I feel like they, they, they feel like you are somebody that would just understand them. Even if they don't quite know you. Clarify that. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I'm getting Capricorn vibes. This person may know you through like some kind of business, maybe your business, or like through you, you bump into them at work or like something like that. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. If this person is abundant, if they have a lot of money, they, they want to send you money. They may have they may have sent you money. I don't know. For some of y'all. Some about tips come to mind. I don't know. I'm getting all kinds of energy, but like tips come to mind. You may have met this person in a restaurant or at a, at a bar. Maybe they're your, your server or maybe you were their server or something like that. Um, but they're very much attracted to you, but I don't feel like y'all know each other very well. Um, how does pal number three make them feel? The way you're making me feel. No. You really turn me on. No. Stop singing. You knock me off of my <laughs> they like music. Alright, so how, how does pal number three makes this person feel? The magician. You make them feel like anything is possible. So you may uplift them. You may be the tarot reader. You may be the <coughs> inspiration in their life. You may be the person in, in the public. Either way, they feel like anything is possible with you. You make them feel like they can do real shit. It's almost inspirational. The sun, yeah. You make this person feel like um, they got what it takes. You remind them of who they are, in a sense. All right, so how do you make this person? Okay, also, this is Bella Dix, the star energy. There's a, it's a spiritual connection. Um, if you don't know this person, it's like y'all send more information towards each other through telepathy than anything. You may be dreaming about this person, vice versa. Uh, they, you may be an Aquarius, they may be an Aquarius. Um, also see Leo energy, so the sun and the star. So this is soulmate energy. So this represents uh, Leo, this represents Aquarius. Aquarius and Leo on the opposite sides of the spectrum. One of y'all may be an Aquarius, one of y'all may be a Leo. Don't have to be, but this is the, the polarity that I'm getting. Um, soulmate energy. Also something about how like this, you may have manifested this person intentionally or unintentionally. I feel like y'all, um, one y'all do some kind of intention work, maybe working with the moon or something like that. Maybe charge your stuff. Maybe work with energy. Some about energy movers kind of come to my like working with subtle energy. Maybe um, Reiki. I don't know. Maybe just pure just magic. I don't know. But um, it's definitely interesting. Keep going. How do you, how do you um, how do they think of you? What's the perception of you like? What do they think this connection is? Woo. The chariot. The ace of swords. They want to um, move in. They want to move in fast. They want to like sweep you off your feet, I'm hearing. But they just don't know how. They just don't, they just don't know how. They feel like they don't know enough. They feel like you wouldn't um, think that of them to be uh, your type or their type or something like that. Um, the king of swords comes out again. Aquarius is energy heavy, baby. They, I think they're just gonna blur it out one day. It's like I think they're just they're even gonna send you a message, or it, it's getting to the point where they are gonna let their feelings be known, baby. Because they are they are about honesty. They're not they're not at all insecure. I see, do see the Eight of Cups. 
Um, they may actually be in a relationship or just walk out of a relationship or something like that. They may have moved recently as well. They may be someone new in town. Or they want to move to you. Uh, the Six of Pentacles. They think that you are a trustworthy person. They think that you are one of the few people on this planet, they say, that, that, that they actually have a heart of gold and an actual honest person. They, they like you. Um, let's pull some monology cards to kind of give any more additional insight about pile number three's admirer. And we'll close it out. All right. So first quarter moon in Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. Full moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. Last but not least, new moon in Virgo, trust that all will be well. And that's all I got for you. So let me know, sound off in the comments if this resonated for you. Um, as always, guys, um, support the channel by liking and subscribing if you want to. But most importantly, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Bless us how we do. Yeah. What up, pal? Or, and you know, we don't never do no faux pals. This is this is not what we be doing, so don't get used to this. But I felt like this particular reading deserved faux, uh, faux, um, faux pals. So you're welcome. You can take me in the comments, but uh, for, for letting this, this, this pal exist, you're welcome. <laughs> but no, we're gonna be looking into um, who wants to date you. You may know this person, you may not, um, but I, for some reason. This pile in particular, I feel like you know this person. This may be somebody from your past. Somebody who has changed. Or maybe it's just been some time since y'all were even like around each other. Maybe both of y'all have just changed. It's been, maybe you have both turned into different people um, at this point. But we're going to be looking into the personality of this, of this, uh, of this person and uh, where they're at now and why they feel like they want to date you. So we're going to start off with this uh, animal spirit um card here and uh it's the hyena it's a fire totem so they could be fire signs but i'm picking up scorpio energy heavy but um they could be a fire sign that's leo sagittarius or aries sun moon rising don't have to be could just have the personality of this type that's how you see them but let's uh start off with um the description of the hyena in the guidebook it says humor wit sarcasm hmm? So, the hyena personality is a jokester and a crowd pleaser, but, but below the surface, there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments? Or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? When in balance, the hyena is charming, witty, fun to be around. When out of balance, it's scrappy, petty, suspicious. To bring it back into balance, sobriety. Sobriety. So also, I'm, getting, I'm picking up on Sagittarius vibes, heavy too. But this, if we're going fire signs, Sagittarius would be the one for hyena, for me. Also picking up on um, Scor uh, not Scorpio, Piscean energy. Somebody who likes to kind of escape from their issues and, 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 and feelings uh, because I feel like they feel them a lot. But um, in the astrology cards, because we are using the Astro Oracle deck, they pull Pluto in the 12th house. Pluto is all about um, regeneration. It's all about uh, transformation, how they've transformed. Um, it's very much Scorpio energy, and that, meaning that they probably had to go to some dark places to get to the light or to um, to learn some hard lessons in this life. In the 12th house, um, it says introspection. This is the house of secrets. This is the Pisces house. This is the spirituality house. This is um very karmic house. So this person may have gone through the ringer and back, to be honest with you. I'm getting life path number fives. I'm also getting life path number uh, two, seven, and nine. Could be definitely like that number nine. Learning how to see the glass um, half full. They're very much a, a pessimist a lot of the times, and they are very funny. I do give them that. They are very, very funny. But let's pull some more cards. I'm looking at the uh, personality type of pile number four is person. Woo! Okay. 
So I see the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. They feel like a walking contradiction, <laughs> in a sense. Uh, they may be Cancers, they may be Taurus, don't have to be, but I do feel like with the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant, there's somebody who, um, very spiritual at this point. They may be at the, like, in, 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 in like the peak of like their spiritual awakening or something like where they just feel good, just like helping people like all oh, love and light and rainbows and shit because they found this, this place that feels so good and they may have gifts. I'm really thinking they may actually be psychic. They may be very intuitive. Um, they're embracing that about themselves. Um, they may uh, be very, very much into spirituality with the highest of heart. Also, some about the transformation. They may have started off very, very religious, and they may have shifted into spirituality. They've given up a lot. They may have stopped drinking. They may be sober. They may have um, used to be a person who had um, a, a, an addiction or a dependency on a substance because they were going through a lot. And um, they may have. They may be going through um, rehab. Comes to mind. Um, trying to find some stability. You may meet this person in rehab. I'm not judging nobody. I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> but let's go deeper. What's the truth about pile number four? What's the truth about pile number four? Like, why do they want to date them? Why? Okay, the seven of cups wants to come out. Okay. Um, how they feel about pile number four? Woo, shit. And the pentacles. What do they think? Number four. What's on the one? Woo! All the cards will drop on the floor, y'all. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. Ah. Okay. All right. So the truth about the connection is the seven of cups. So they feel like. Okay, for some of y'all, y'all may have really met in a situation where either y'all was both drunk or both recovering from being drunk or something like that. Maybe admit at a bar, uh, something like that. I do see uh, healing from that. Uh, for, if that's not your story, um, they met you or they feel like you help uplift them or something like that. The Five of Cups in reverse with the Page of Cups. Something about um, you uh, reminded them that there's more to live for or something like that. You may have really touched them um, when they really needed to uh, to hear something the most. You may not have been channeling or anything like that. You may have just been talking to them or whatever, just sharing something with them and they really took that to heart. Because now they see you as the Six of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. They see you as somebody who is very um, respect. They see you as, as, as someone who is like the world, baby. They see you as someone who they just want to listen to and just watch and like, oh my God, they, they find you to be very respectable. They respect the shit out of you. Okay. How they feel about pile number um, four? You may be Capricorns, some Moon Rise and Venus don't have to be, um, but they feel like uh, you're very nurturing and providing. Judgment comes out as well in the five of wands in reverse. And you have a way of shedding light on situations um, so people can see the truth. You've, you've shown them the truth a lot of times. You've, 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 they feel like you've helped them um, transform. They owe a lot of their transformation to you. Um, how do they think about you? They feel like um, being connected to you is a blessing. The Ace of Pentacles. They feel like it's, um, a, it's, a, it's this abundance just knowing you. Okay. They're very um, into you. The Nine of Swords in Reverse with the Five of Swords in Reverse. But they think that they're too much of a nervous wreck. They don't think that you would um, really um, be interested in the sense. They feel like they don't have enough to offer the four of wands in reverse. Um, they are a little bit insecure. They, this, this pile is insecure. They're, they're, they're quite insecure, trying to figure out who they are and where they're going. But I feel like, um, damn, they do love you. 10 of wands in reverse. They also say that you, you, You've gone through similar things together. Not together, it could be together, but y'all have gone through similar things. So you may have known this person in the past, and um, if anything happened where like y'all fell out and this person like stopped talking to you, y'all like disconnected, and you felt like maybe you were judged or something like that, well, life kind of caught up to them, and they kind of understand why you was going through what you was going through, why you did what you did, because they had to go through it too, and now they understand. So now they're seeing you like um, this, this hard-working ass person, this person who's been through so much just like them, and there's a statue that'll be rectified in your honor, bitch. But um, 
that's what I really got for you. I'm going to go ahead and read you these um, Moonology cards and close it out. <clears throat> what else should we know about pile number four? The person. Just the advice. Any more advice? Okay. So I have here, your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. Last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude. And last but not least, I have Believe in the Impossible Blue Moon. What? Believe in the Impossible Blue Moon. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Last Quarter Moon in Leo. Lighten up. All right, guys. I'm out. So thank you for joining me here. I'm so grateful for you. Just like you should be grateful that we have full power today. Go ahead and let me know how you feel about that in the comments. Let me know if it resonated. Also, like and subscribe to the channel just for support if you feel like it. But, um, yeah, until next time, if uh, <laughs> you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings out with do. Bye.